Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of uh, Whiskey Reviews with uh, Whiskey Warehouse. Uh, this episode and a few other episodes ahead, um, Trent Beardy is going to be co-hosting since uh, Dylan is out on Navy, Navy business in Virginia. So uh, Dylan, shout out to you buddy. Oh, I was going to call you out first Dylan. Oh Hope man. Hope you're having fun. Thanks for the service. We support the troops. Yep. God bless. Have a safe trip. Definitely. So. Today we will be reviewing Elijah Craig Small Batch, which is a Heaven Hill product. Very good stuff, about $25, $30, depends where you're at. It's 94 proof, and it is one of the oldest bourbons around, apparently. Sounds pretty old. Apparently so, over 200 years old. I'm not gonna do the same thing yeah. I did last episode. Yeah, don't yeah, don't shoot it. That'd be bad. So originally, Elijah Craig was called Elijah Craig Twelve Year. It was uh, distilled for twelve years, but I think a few years ago that was taken off, and a lot of people kind of got mad about it. But so I don't know the age statement on this. I'm guessing it's between like four to eight, maybe. But it's still good bourbon. I haven't had it in a while, but it's good. Yeah, I won the 2018 uh, Spirits Competition, double gold. Yep, San Francisco. Yeah, and then uh, it scored 93 points in the Ultimate Spirits Challenge. And, um, yeah, I'm going to read what it says on the, the tag here. The signature bourbon bears the name of Reverend Elijah Craig, a bourbon pioneer who is credited with being the first distiller to age his whiskey in charred oak barrels. Year after year, Elijah Craig is consistently recognized as one of the best bourbons by whiskey connoisseurs and industry experts. Yeah, if you give this to someone, they're not going to turn it down. Yeah, that's kind of funny, Reverend. So he's a yeah, Reverend. He's a Reverend. That's, that's funny. Well, I just want to make sure that's what that meant. Is this what that meant right the there? The Master Distiller? Right here. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, Reverend. Yeah, yeah. Reverend. I guess the old Elijah Craig there was a, a little priest. <laughs> I guess. So back in the day, you know, priests were uh, partiers, it sounded like. I guess so. <laughs> that's, that's funny. So, this was a uh, fan um, requested review by, excuse me, I don't remember. Say something, Trent. Was it on YouTube? Um, it I, I think it was YouTube? on Facebook. Facebook? Yeah. Well, uh, how long? So, with uh, bourbon, is it a normal thing that they would uh, let it sit, and, you know, age in a charred, you know? Oh, it has to be aged in a charred new oak barrel for at least two years to be called bourbon. Okay, gotcha. See, that's something I didn't know. Yeah. So, it can be as young as two and as old as 50 or whatever. Does the age make it, what's that do for the taste? It usually makes it better, it makes smoother, it better. more flavor, usually. Yeah. But there's kind of a cutoff. Like I'd say around eight or nine years is kind of the sweet point. And okay. then after that, there's not much of a change, okay. really. I mean, there's, I mean, uh, Buffalo Trace makes one, uh, Peppy Van Winkle, 23 year. And that's on the aftermarket for like two grand. Because it's so rare. So I can buy four of those right now with the money in my back pocket. <laughs> nice. Yeah. It, it, don't, don't go and buy that. That's, that's stupid. <laughs> So, like, um, on average, we'll say, you know, mainstream bourbons, whiskeys even, because whiskeys, they're aged, and they get better over age too, right? Right, right. Okay, so, like, on average, these big name brands, I'm saying, like, Jim Beam, Jack Daniels, how often are they aged? Not their special reserved, uh -huh. but, like, they're just basic, you know, Jack Daniels or Jim Beam. How, on average, how long do those sit? I believe know? Jack is two or three, mm -hmm. and then Jim Beam, I think, is four. Okay, so it's, it, go, it ranges like the big mainstream, you know, whiskeys and bourbons everyone's heard of ranges from two to four years, you yeah. say? Okay. I'd say, yeah, because they, they, I mean, there's so much demand for it, so they can't age it too long. Okay. And that's what Buffalo Trace is having the trouble with, with mm -hmm. the Blantons, the H. Taylor, and the Pappy, 23 years. You have to wait 23 years. <laughs> Man. So that's why it's really hard to fucking find, because oh. they, I mean, they can't make it fast enough. They can make it, but <laughs> nature has to age it. You know what I mean? You can't, you can't express that. Yeah. Whew. So Tony Moser, thank you for the request, buddy. Shout out to Tony. My first time trying Elijah Craig, so thanks for that recommendation. Yeah, definitely. So uh, let's go ahead and get into the nose. 
Oh, here you go, Dylan. Here's your uh, legs for you. Yeah, legs. Dylan approved. Legs don't look as good as Dylan's. <laughs> but they're there. <laughs> they're coming down kind of slow, actually. Yeah, they are. I see that. Kind of like Dylan's. Yeah. At the softball game. Well, he's he's a he's a he's a dad. He can get an excuse away for that. <laughs> they really are coming down slow, though. They are. Yeah. I don't know if you can see that, but. That'd be one hell of a camera. Let's see if it. I don't know if this thing autofocuses. Probably not. Nope. <laughs> You just had to take our word for it. Yeah. All right. Right off the bat, you get the wood and the alcohol. Yeah. The vanilla. We'll smell a whole lot of vanilla. Yeah, there's a little crap ton of vanilla in this. You smell any cherry? I get a little bit. Just a, like a hint of yeah. cherry? Yeah. Mm-hmm. There's something else I just can't put my nose. Oh. <laughs> can't put my nose on it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dip your nose in there. So you can get it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe some orange peel. Yeah, yeah, I smell that. Maybe a touch very, of cinnamon. Yeah. Very good smell. Yeah, it's just your traditional bourbon smell. It's very, very good smelly stuff. We need to make car fresheners with this smell. They probably do. <laughs> Lush I mean, Craig, don't take my idea. <laughs> I mean, Buffalo Trace makes soap yeah, and I know. cologne. Yeah, and Dylan did a review on that, so go check that out if you haven't. Yeah, definitely. I'll, I'll, I'll link it up here if you guys want to check it out. You did a review on the uh, down there. Comp, you got it on YouTube. It's everything's below the video. Now I'll put a card. A card. Oh, card. Okay. Yeah, you know, you see those oh, things yeah, that pop yeah. up and go like, <laughs> check out this thing <laughs> yeah. right here. <laughs> yeah, it'll be up in on top in the video somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. So click that if you want to watch that. Yeah, he reviews the Buffalo Trace soap, which I actually bathed with today. So it's good stuff. Ooh. <laughs> All right. You gonna give it a taste? First official taste. I'm down. First taste is usually mostly alcohol to cleanse the palate. Then the rest, other tastes usually get the flavors and shit. Sounds good. That is a jaw shaker right there. <laughs> Another jaw shaker? <laughs> Another jaw shaker. <laughs> Sarah's making funny faces in the background. Yeah, she, I, she, Dang, she oh. split this off. Yeah, she slipped this off. Shout Dang. out to Sarah. I was going to shout her out. But you know, Sarah, this is dedicated to you. <laughs> that's, that's for Sarah. She's amazing. So she gets two of them. <laughs> <laughs> That first taste, yeah, it cleans the palate pretty good. A lot of oak. I feel like I taste that char too. Yeah. Have you ever tasted char in another drink? Other than bourbon? Yeah, other than bourbon, yeah. Not really. Some scotches have it, but it's kind of rare. They're more smoky than charry. Yeah, and I taste the, that char. Um, tasted the oak, mm -hmm. a little bit of vanilla, which is really hard to understand because uh, that's the smell it gives off is mo like ninety percent vanilla. Yeah, that's actually pretty common in bourbons. Is really? Vanilla, yeah. Vanilla, cherries, and orange are like the typical notes of bourbons, huh. and that's why I would call this like your typical bourbon that you would, you know. If you were, had like someone who's like, I'm trying to get into bourbon, and my uh, price range is like 30 bucks, I'd recommend this, cause it doesn't disappoint. It's good stuff. Yeah, everyone's heard of Elijah Craig, Reverend Elijah Craig. <laughs> Reverend Elijah Craig. <laughs> Elijah Craig, Reverend. <laughs> <You know? laughs> There's a story on him, but I don't, I don't remember what it is. Something about he brought his followers to Kentucky, and then he made a distillery. Out of his followers. With his followers. Oh. Yeah. I think they might have worked with them or something. I'm not quite... I don't know the whole story. I just heard bits, bits and pieces of it. That'd be a story I'd be interested in reading someday. Yeah. From a fellow uh, whiskey review channel, actually, Whiskey Vault, which is, I think, it's the top um, subscribed whiskey channel on YouTube. Really? So, shout out to you guys. You do an awesome job. Daniel Rex. You guys are awesome. Shout out.
You guys are awesome. Rex kind of reminds me of you. So he's he good has, looking. He has a beard. He's good looking. He's good looking. He's got a beard. <laughs> and he's funny. Yeah, oh, he is. So he's a good looking guy. Yeah. Hey, shout out. <laughs> Sweet cinnamon. Cinnamon, I got a little cherry too. Yeah, a little bit cherry. It's crazy. I mean, people might, in this point of the video, you might be thinking like, wow, this is so random. Two guys drinking whiskey for this kind of reason. Believe it or not, I'm sitting in this seat. I did not taste, if you taste whiskey or bourbon or anything like this, first one just, you know, your mouth gets used to it. It expects it. Mm -hmm. The second time, you get more flavors than you did the first time, third time, so on and so forth. So it's better as you drink. Yes. Yeah, so this is something you don't want to like chug. You know, shot it. Shot it. Like I, you learned, did. Yeah, I learned that with the last <laughs> week's episode, um, and I regretted it. Kinda. The only reason why I didn't regret it is because I got another glass afterwards. Yeah. But well, that that one wasn't as complex. It was. It, this year, typical. No, that was that larceny? Yeah. Yeah. That weeded bourbon. Yeah, but I recommend doing this because that's crazy. It, it hits you and it like doesn't go down. Like if you are not used to bourbons or whiskeys or anything, like you're not used to the burn, the burn goes away after the first one as well. Mm -hmm. You won't taste that burn as much as you would the second, third, or fourth taste. Yeah. You just got to keep at it because most people, when they have the first, are like, no, I'm done. Yeah. Yeah. You got to like, keep uh, sipping. It gets better. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Like, example, my girlfriend, Alexis, she's amazing. She likes, you know, the typical fruity drinks. Every time she even smells whiskey or bourbon, you know, she's ah, cut off. No, I'm not trying it. But I'm sure she, there's some kind of whiskey, some kind of bourbon out there that she would like to sip on. And like, for instance, Elijah Craig. Yeah, first taste, burnt. Yeah, you get that traditional burn. Second, the cherry popped out, vanilla. I mean, it, uh, the first, yeah, you also get the char taste from, you know, the barrel and all that oak but the second taste man that's when the flavor like hits you like i got a lot of cherry that time and it didn't burn so that second taste is yeah. way more pleasable than the first so i'm assuming the third fourth fifth sixth etc cetera, etc cetera, is just only going to get better from then on it does definitely and when we go on that uh bourbon trail for the bachelor party you learn a lot of really cool stuff about it well see i'm excited i'm what i'm going to be probably doing is every time we go somewhere i want to look for a shirt you can get a shirt everywhere sure, we go. Yeah, because I'm going to do the same thing. Yeah, because that's cool. I mean... I got this down to Buffalo Trace. Yeah, I know. You you have some cool shirts. I like your Mad Tree shirt. Yeah. It's got the Ohio with the tree that's in the It's really middle. cool, yeah. That is really cool. But, like, the history of America was built on stuff like this. Yes, like, yes. It's crazy how far back this stuff goes. I mean... 1800s. It, it means a lot to people that do it responsibly. I mean, there's people that would take advantage of it and do it unresponsibly, like, you know, drink it just to get that, you know, drunk, blah, blah, blah. This is like a really good, um, you know, it's really good, like, just to sip on. Yeah. It is. It makes you feel warm, you get the Kentucky hug. Mm-hmm. And you know, the flavors, man. Yeah, the flavors are incredible. Yeah, the burn went back, it's gone. So now I'm just getting all the flavor. You get much, nothing but sweet cherries now. Yeah, this cherries, cherry overhaul really, with a little bit of vanilla, but a touch of orange too, maybe. But it's very good. Elijah Craig, you you nailed it. I mean, yeah. it's it's really good. And it, you would say, how old is this age? She said. It doesn't have a statement, but I I had to guess between four to six, maybe. Four to six. Maybe I I don't fucking know. Well, even if it was the four, it'd be worth four years to wait for a bottle of this stuff. Oh yeah. Because it, they did they did good. But luckily, this is very easy to find so yes and that's really a good thing yeah because you want a good whiskey you can just go to this oh man i'm almost low because you equivalent you know you you learn taste for your favorite whiskeys mm -hmm. you always go get the same bottle right and so you I, don't want some bottle to be different you know yeah you don't yeah. want to show up to your you know local liquor store and, and it not be there and then you got to go on a prowl to find it that's not fun welcome to bourbon hunting <laughs> that is that's, I mean, I'm I'm excited to be here, uh, Dylan. Once again, uh, thanks for starting this channel with Nick and um, fun you know, time. It's fun and it's it's you know I don't want to put you on your high horse or anything, but it's like an honor taking over for you. <laughs> I, and I don't want to you know I don't all the sweet talk all the side. You you still slow. You still suck at softball. <laughs> and um, yeah, so thanks to Dylan. 
without Dylan or you, this wouldn't be happening. So I appreciate that, Dylan. Yeah. So, so before we end this, let me ask you two questions. One, who do you see drinking this? Um. See, what I would say is people that um, prefer the colder weather because, it, like you said, it gives you that Kentucky hug. So mm -hmm. it warms you up a lot. Yeah. You can feel it warm from the mouth down. I mean, you just slowly get that warmth. So this ain't like a drink. People, you know, certain people that would be outside in a hot day be drinking. I could, you know, might sound stupid, but I can see Eskimos drinking this. Like people that are in the cold <laughs> weather, you know, and mm -hmm. they just want to drink something to relax get a good taste and warm their bodies up so like really i see people that enjoy cold weather drinking this yeah and does that mix in with your second question my second question is what you what your score would be on this you know how we did in the larceny oh, yeah yeah, yeah. what and did we give the larceny do you remember what you give larceny well my first one i made a mistake i know because i that that goes to about what i was saying i rushed into it and i drank it too quick yeah but the more I tasted it, the better the score got. And I gave it a low score. I think I said like 60-something. Yeah. And then, you know, you guys gave it, I think, it, was, it stayed like 89, 90 range for you guys, I think. I, I think, I, yeah, I gave it, I gave um, Weller Special Reserve 87. So I think I gave this like an 84, 85. The, the Elijah? No, the uh, Larceny. Oh, the Larceny, That's okay. That's I gave the Larceny. Yeah, and I, I think I gave it around like an 80. Yeah, you, you 80, were like 89. weird. You put like an 81.2235 yeah, yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So I can't remember. Oh, no. It was 81.106, I think I said. And then <laughs> Dylan technical. was like, you got to round up the last number to five. And I was just, oh, yeah, yeah, 80.15 uh, 80 or something like that. <laughs> but to do this, see, that that's a, that's a big part of me. I like whiskeys that you can drink all year round. Like it, how how hot, hot is, is it outside? You'd say about eighty. It's. I mean, we're, yeah, we're in the, the sun, too. so I'd say it's about 77. 77. Yeah. See, if, if I mean, unless you have that equivalent taste, right now it's heating. It's it heated me up. So like, this is something I wouldn't drink. I would drink, you know. But it is smooth. It is smooth. Very very smooth. But like my like with my score, a big part of my score would be if you can drink it any time of the year. And so like Elijah Craig, I would give it probably like a. I would go with like a 78, 79. So you prefer the Larson over this? Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. And that's just because, like I said, um, I mean. I sweat for everything, but I got a little sweat coming on. I don't know. I'm not blaming Elijah Craig or anything, <laughs> and it. But it's like 70 degrees. We're in the sh we're in the shade, so it's like nice. Yeah, yeah, some you know it heats you up. So you know you don't want to be drinking a little glass of this while you're mowing your yard when it's 85 degrees no, outside. No. So like I don't know. That, yeah, so I, I would go with like a 79, 79.105. Okay. See, I could probably drink this all year, just because I'm used to the higher proof stuff. Mm -hmm. What like, is this? Is this 94? It's 94. Yeah, 94. It's still high proof, but I'm accustomed to the 90 proofs, so I think I'd give this like an 88. Oh, so higher. Yeah, I like this better than Weller, I like this better than Larceny, because I like the fruit notes to it. And it's just a good traditional bourbon. It's very good. But you acquire a taste for that, too. I have, yeah. yeah. See, I'm new to this. Well, not... I mean, I was, I've been drinking whiskey for a while, but uh, not like. Well, I'm not surprised you pick a weedy bourbon over this, because the weed bourbons are usually sweeter and a little easier on the palate. Yeah, see, I like, I like things that, like, you, nothing would prevent you from sipping it. Like, if you were sitting inside on that 80 degree day in AC, perfect. Yeah. You can drink this. But, like, there's some days I just want to sit on the porch and just relax, take a little sip, and then not, I mean, don't get me wrong, a little glass probably wouldn't do anything. But if I wanted to, like, drink half a bottle or something, <laughs> like, just glass after glass, just sip on it and sip on it, it would it would burn me up over time. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, so, like, I like I like ones that, it, don't get me wrong, you still get that little burn most of the time. But with, like, that Larceny, that Larceny was really, really good. And, like, I don't know, like, it didn't burn me up. And right. we were uh, at Dylan and Dylan's yep. in the garage. In the garage. So we, we had no airflow. We, you know, it was, you know, it, it was it was pretty hot, relatively hot, 
for like the conditions we were working in. So like uh, out here we get a breeze. I mean it's nice out here. Yeah. It is. So yeah, that's I like I like whiskeys and bourbons that you can just not burn up from drinking. But like if you work your way, if I'm sure if I work my way up to it, I just get over yeah, that. Yeah, you just need to you practice. Maybe while while we're on here, we kind of tutor you into mm -hmm. like in what. You know, we'll discover see. what you like. Yeah, see if we if you remember within the next few months or something, ask me if I you know, hey, you remember that Elijah Craig was taking another sip. My score might be higher. Yeah. Just because true. I'm not used to drinks like this. So my I should have said my score is a soft seventy nine because like I said, next week it might change. Yeah. Just because I'm new to this, you know, this Yeah, your the, your taste definitely changes when you're new to whiskey. Yeah. And bourbon. Yeah, and uh I grew up, you know, liking just the basic stuff. Jack Daniels, um, Jim Beam, uh, you know, even Gentleman's Jack, a whole bunch of stuff like that. I've grew up drinking that, so I've acquired a taste. I mean, Jack, I can, my, I don't even taste it no more. I sound like an alcoholic, but it's just all the golfing, all the mixing, it's just... Jack's always been there. He's never screwed me over. Yeah, they, they make a barrel proof, too. Really? You know what that means? Does that mean it's... Does it... It's got its own batch, so it's separated from a normal batch, right? Right. So, why do they do that? So the barrel proof means it comes straight from the barrel. On the regular ones, they water it down. Okay. So it's a little more expensive because it comes straight out of the barrel. And that usually makes it higher proof, right? Yes. So that, the, uh, the barrel is probably like, what, 98 proof? Nine, what? More? Yeah, I think... The one Dylan has a lot higher, but mine is like uh, like 125 proof, something like that. Well, see, that's people with acquired taste. Yeah, see, I that like that. Stuff. Yeah, I know you, you, you do. get past. See, the bonus with barrel proofs, you get past the alcohol. There's a lot more flavors there, mm -hmm. a lot more complex. Oh yeah. And we'll work your way up to it because I got a couple barrel proofs at the house that we could probably bring over on the after show or something to try. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm more more interested because like I don't know, I I, I love. The different, you know, I, I this is my second time on the show. Well, <laughs> this is another shout out to Kinda. Dylan. Yeah. This is my third time on the show, but the first time didn't count because you know someone's phone Stop had too recording. much porn on it, <laughs> and you know it just you know didn't record. So I was just there drinking with the guys. It was still fun. Don't yeah. get me wrong. We'll never take it back. That was a good video. Though. Yeah, it was. And then the second one came out last week, and um, yeah. Or after show didn't get many views. Well, that's just because people don't know what humor is. I guess so. So you know, <laughs> that that's gonna be on you know on you know just watch that video. It was last Friday. Friday came out Friday the after show. Yep, every okay. Friday. Yeah, and we'll post another one this Friday. Yeah, that was fun. That was really fun. And uh, yeah, so I, I'm, that's one of my main concerns is you know filling in for Dylan and everything. I want to acquire a taste and I want to join the bandwagon per se. You'll get there. On to learn different things on the whiskeys and then that's what uh, the whiskey run is going to do for your bachelor party. Yep. It's going to probably wake, you know, open my eyes. I'm oh like, yeah. Oh. I mean when me and Dylan were down at uh, Buffalo Trace they gave us a tour and they taught us a bunch of shit. Really? We didn't Where's Buffalo know. Trace at? It's in Frankfurt, Kentucky about two hours away. Really? Yep. So there's so many things around that you would never even know until you that's the only thing in Frankfurt. It's like dead. <laughs> a couple <laughs> gas stations, McDonald's, and then there's the huge ass <laughs> Buffalo Trace. The most awarded distillery in the world. Where's Jack Daniels located? That's in, um, shit. Obviously oh, so in, Tennessee. Yeah, obviously Tennessee. Uh, but I'm sure that that's a bright distillery. I should know distillery. this. Oh, yeah, it's going <laughs> to be massive. They probably have thousands of barrels, more than thousands. I know this. It's not because like, it's a dry county. Yes, yeah, it's, it's not like uh, it's not like a big part of Tennessee. Is it? It's this not is like bugging me, man. It's not like Knoxville or no. It's just it's like a little desert town. Hang in there with us, guys. Look this up for you. You probably know it already, but okay. and if you do, comment down below. Yeah. You know, that you knew it before us, we'll be impressed. We'll be impressed. And then obviously, more of the reviews we get, shoot, shoot us some more ideas. What do you want us to try? If you know someone that personally, you know, knows more about sp specific bourbons or anything, tell them to hit us up. Comment the name of it. But yeah, man. It? We haven't given much. It's Lynchburg. Lynchburg, yep. yeah. Yeah. <laughs>
I can't believe we missed that. Yeah, I know. It's, it's kind of obvious, but, but I guess that's what happens once, you know, you break off of that, you know, the mainstream stuff, and you learn more about all the other stuff. Right. It's not like, you know, you're going from named product, like, you know, brand name to, like, off-brand name. That's not how it works. You're going from brand Jack Daniels, brand. which everyone knows, to other stuff that's more complex or less complex. It don't really matter. Yeah. But there's branches off branches you know branches. We, should, we should revisit just me and you it depends how long dylan's gone of course but um taste jack daniels because me and dylan got some weird flavors on it we got bananas on really? it really yeah so i would love to try that even even gentleman's jack i like gentleman's jack yeah i haven't had that since i got sick yeah <laughs> <laughs> golfing oh yeah <laughs> i think who brought the gentleman's jack kyle yeah kyle fuck Shout you kyle. kyle yeah fuck you kyle <laughs> all right so do you want to do your shout outs? Yeah, I'll do the shout outs. Shout out to Sarah. Yeah, she's awesome. She's my sister. Uh, shout out to Lex. Shout out to Dad. This is his This is his house. Yeah, thank so, you, David, for yeah, letting thanks. us film here. Exactly. The next he's, little bit. Yeah, he's got a beautiful property. He I does. mean, it's nice. It's all shaded. And uh, yeah, shout out to Alexis. She's my, uh, she's my <coughs> girlfriend. Uh, shout out to Dylan, obviously. Shout out to Cassandra. Uh, shout out to um, Nick. Shout out. To, well, and another thing, Dylan. Thanks for your service, man. Uh, it takes very special, very strong, very strong-willed men to do what you got to do. It's because of people like you, me and Nick can do this. You know, we can sit around and not worry about anything because you know our military is our number one. You know, our, our front lines to why we keep our freedom. So I just wanted to say shout out to you, Dylan. Um, I'll, I'll even I'll even dedicate my first co-host episode to you. So this is for Dylan. Rock on. And uh, yeah, that's my shout outs. All right. Shout out to Sarah. Even though Trent got there first. I love you, honey. Um, shout out to uh, Dylan, of course. Thanks for uh, letting Beardy on in your place. Hope you're having a good time down there. And uh, hopefully you can get back soon. Um, especially before my wedding. You're going to be there, dude. Um, and the bachelor party, of course. And uh, shout out to the fam, mom, dad, Alex, Ellie, Jack. Jack, definitely, look, thanks for letting us use your camera every week, man. I really appreciate it. It's a nice camera. Yeah, very nice. Uh, David, for letting us use your property, for letting us um, shoot here for the next few weeks or so. Really nice, nice of you. Um, the softball team, if you guys watch this, Dave, um, Kyle, the rest of you. Appreciate it, D-Guard, um, and, uh, Papa, Mike, Kevin, Sticky Arrow, Jake, cousin, um, and whoever else I'm forgetting. I'm sorry, but uh, thanks for watching. Yep, thank you. You guys, and then uh, turn, tune in next week's episode, and then also our after show. Yeah, after show, Friday. we're posting that Friday. We're just bullshitting, drink, drinking whiskey, fun time. We're usually a couple glasses in. To the after show. Yeah, so we, gets, we, we record that right after this. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. yeah so you know, this ain't the only stuff we're drinking. Yeah, right. Yeah, you know, right. Whatever. And but. next week we will be reviewing um, Kentucky Gentlemen as requested by my dad, Ed Johnson. So stay I'm tuned excited to that. About that one. Yeah. We're really excited because, you know, Steady Eddie <laughs> knows all his stuff. Yeah. Well, I guess his buddy Phil drinks that. He's a big bourbon drinker, too, but he really? mixes it. He, he's a mixer. Oh, he mixes gotcha. all of his shit with Coke, Diet Coke, whatever. So that's his prominent drink because it's a it's a, a cheaper one. It's only gotcha. about 10 bucks for it's, a liter. Yeah. And also, Eddie, awesome get job last game, man. You you killed the ball. You did you got a good really hit, man. good. Yeah. yeah. For being 79 years old, you were really <laughs> good. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. But you did really good last softball game, so... Keep that up. Some of us can't really do a lot because some people get the first home run of the game <laughs> and then the second one don't really count. You know, as a matter of fact, oh, and I'm not allowed to touch anybody apparently. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> but, interference. Interference. <laughs> it was just a little small little butt grab, but it's whatever. Yeah, I it's wish whatever. we could like stream our softball game so they <laughs> yeah. would know what we're talking about. Wouldn't that be cool? <laughs> that would. To have a camera. <laughs> yeah, and then people would make fun of you because like, oh, why are they recording? Oh, it's. It's for like they're, tryouts. They're losing thirty to nothing. Why are they recording? <laughs> Why are they recording? It's a beer league. That's what makes it fun. Yeah, 
but the problem is we probably drink more than most teams do. <laughs> yeah. So that's why we lose. It's on not because we're bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably on average four to six, you know, beers a kid. That's how on average it is. Kyle, he puts down like, what? Four or five of them before we can get there? I think his beer drinks like two of them. Yeah. <laughs> Yours drinks like three. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Kyle, yeah, my beard's always better, bro. You, you know, one of these days you'll be able to grow one. You got one started, but, you know. You he like, he likes shaving it. You're like, not shaving it, but like trimming, trimming it. it. Yeah, real short. Yeah, I used to do that too when I used to wear girls' panties. <laughs> That's for you, Kyle. All right. We're going to jump into the after show. Please stay tuned on Friday. No, not Friday. Saturday. We're posting Saturday since we're going to be posting this on Thursday because we're recording on Wednesday. Do the math. So, uh, thanks for st uh, tuning in, and we'll see you guys on the after show. Peace. See you guys. I'm already gonna call out Dylan as my first shout out. So you, don't bitch. Call <laughs> you bitch! And it's cool because he can be watching this too while he's gone. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, cool. that's yeah, that's kind of. Cool. Get that out of the way now. Oh, that was a text. Yeah. Oh, someone calling you. Yeah. Well, that's that your reminds me. You gotta put. Yeah, I'm silent. I'm silent. <laughs> Is it recording now? Yeah. Oh shit! We can put this in the bloopers. <laughs> I like the one. Pussy, pussy. <laughs> pussy, pussy. <laughs> Man. Alright, let me see here. Silence. Uh, boom. Alright. We're golden. Alright. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Whiskey. <laughs> do two do, do <laughs> yeah. fingers again. Yeah. Bloopers. Take two? <laughs> yeah. <laughs>